Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away If you can use some exotic booze There's a bar in far Bombay Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly Okay, for this morning, I, we got um, order from Stella's Use my voucher yeah, and we ordered the pan the big pancake, scrambled eggs and sausage. The muffin I got in the lobby, the hotel lobby. <laughs> and I got the coffee from the hotel lobby. And um they also Stella also uh, I got the orange juice um with my meal. So uh it looks pretty good. So we'll chow chow down and then this morning I'm gonna go to the battlefield, uh little big horn battlefield. Uh, I set up the tour and they're going to pick me up in another hour or so. So that should be interesting. So that's, look forward to that. That's going to be fun. Okay, so let me, let me go ahead and eat my breakfast and I'm ready, I'll be ready to go. I think, I think my ride's here. This might be your ride. Yeah. <laughs> it might be your you recognize him? I think so. <laughs> Hi, love. Lee? Are you Tim? Yeah, I'm Tim. I'm Lee. How, how are you doing? doing? All right, how you doing? Hi. All right. Hey, how, how are, are you, you doing, okay. dear? <laughs> well, spring has sprung. Oh, well, yeah, I don't sort know. of, huh? <laughs> spring has leaked. <laughs> yeah, I think we're so, still a winner. <laughs> oh, so where's Miss Renee? Well, she doesn't do these. Why not? The pickups. Because she does the yeah. history tours. Oh, she, oh you should go on to history. history. Oh, but okay. isn't it the, that one history too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's history. It is, but this is more military. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Really? I'm a former military myself. So. Where were you? It at? makes sense. Marines. Mori oh, oh yeah. yeah. Never. Marine. They're never an ex Marine. I remember that one. Yeah. See <laughs> the fly, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the Navy, so they're part of yeah, the party. Oh, yeah. really? We're familiar I, with each I, other. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm they're, they're the workers that we sit around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm an ex-Army brat. Oh, okay. I'm an ex-Army brat. My mother was in the Army. Oh, okay. Well, Bye. close. <laughs> okay, okay, take care. Bye -bye. Okay. Are you ready? Right, I'm ready. It's you and I? Yeah, it's you and I. Okay. All right. Bye. See you. All right. Here we go. Uh, the first major, well, the first major treaty for the Indians was the Treaty of 1851. Mm -hmm. That kind of defined the word reservation. Reservation, oh, I see. So that was the first Fort Laramie Treaty of 1851. Okay, uh huh. Nothing. You know, this is the Crow land, this is the Sioux land, this is the Cheyenne land, this is the Arapaho land. Uh-huh. Uh, everything. And it was it was just made, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go farther back, if you che check Jefferson, uh, when he booted the Indians out of the south. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, what was that? Uh, I think it was 1830. Mm -hmm. To civilize the South, you had to kick the Indians out. Except for the, <laughs> except for the Seminoles, they didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I just, you know, history is history. Uh -huh. And so things were starting to happen to the ways of life of these, of these people who lived in, in uh, more rural America. Uh -huh. you know? Right. So we fast forward and uh, well, Lewis and Clark were here in 1803, 1806 mm -hmm. uh, under Jefferson. Okay. And uh, they basically, he was looking for a waterway to the Pacific, the Pacific Ocean, uh, but uh, he, didn't, he didn't get he that didn't waterway, get <laughs> but he did get a movement. Because of Lewis and Clark, uh, the fur trade was pretty dominant. Mm -hmm. So you had the fur trade going on from Lewis and Clark. It started dying off in the 1830s. 
mm -hmm. in the 1840s, the demand for for beaver hats and all that stuff kind of receded. Seed it out. But there was incidents with them, with with the Indians. Too, uh -huh. You know, uh, the Indians basically lived where the food source was. Mm -hmm. So when the, their food source was threatened, threatened by whoever, uh -huh. could have been other tribes or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh -huh. There would be some action. Right. So there was there was conflicts going on, but the common denominator was the Indians. Uh -huh. And we needed to take care of that situation. So what are we going to do? What's the government going to do? <laughs> So the first thing they did, they passed the second Fort Laramie Treaty. The first one was the Treaty of 1851. Mm -hmm. The second one was now the Treaty of 1868. Okay. It really defined reservation boundaries. Mm -hmm. We would be on the Crow Reservation. Crow Reservation, right it's, okay. Uh, it's, Right now, it's about the size of Yellowstone Park. Uh -huh. About two million acres. Oh, okay. But back during this time, it was over four million. Okay. So they, they had a lot of what they called their land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically, they followed the Yellowstone River, went into the Yellowstone Park, mm -hmm. and ended that. Uh, kind of the border of South Dakota. Okay. So they're trying to civilize. Okay. So oh. they passed the treaty, defined the borders, direct to mainly the Sioux. And one of the things, hey, if we close the Bozeman Trail, mm -hmm. you guys behave. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> okay. So that was the big deal. Okay. Because they're thinking down the line, the railroad is pushing, pushing west. Okay. Uh, so it's going to end anyhow mm -hmm. because the railroad is going to right now. And then during this time, there was negotiations with the Sioux to sell Black Hills. Oh. General Cook's coming out of, kind of use Sheridan, Wyoming, it's southern Wyoming. So uh, Gibbons is coming from the west going east, mm -hmm. and Cook's going to come from the south going north okay. to this area. Because uh -huh. they figured the Indians were in this big area. Mm -hmm. This is big the Big Horn River. Yeah, Big Horn River. That's Blue Ribbon Trout Street. Oh, okay. We're about 20 miles from the good one. Uh -huh. So, he was, General Crook was the second group. Now the third group, Fort Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is where Custer was stationed, but since he was caused a little problem with Grant. Mm -hmm. Grant didn't want him on that deal. And if you understand, Custer was career army. Mm -hmm. That was his life. Mm -hmm. Right. But not being able to go, you know, that really hurt him. Mm -hmm. So he didn't he didn't assign Custer to to move from Fort Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Instead he put General Cherry in charge. Uh -huh. And not only was he in charge of 
that group, he was in charge of the whole camp. Okay. Oh. And Custer wasn't yeah, assigned. Custer. Uh -huh. So Custer pleads his case. And General Terry, General Sheridan, and General Sturgis said, hey, this guy, he's a great cavalry. Look at what he yeah. did in the Civil War. Mm -hmm, right, we yeah. need him. Mm -hmm. We need him. <laughs> Sheridan says, Custer would be against all odds and come out smelling like a rose. <laughs> you know, he just, he knew how to do quick reaction in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. So, they, okay, he's not in charge, but he got assigned the 7th Cavalry. Okay. So, that's how Custer got to go. Uh -huh. Showing you, there used to be a Daughters of Revolutionary statue here. Oh, really? Okay. okay. Right over to our right. Right in this field. Uh -huh. This all this whole hillside. Uh -huh. uh, after the Battle of the Little Bighorn, the following year, they built a fort, named it Fort Custer. Oh, okay. Okay. So that was this whole was field. Uh -huh. And so that's what that. Yeah, I that's what they did. Okay. You nobody know. knows what happened to that. Oh, okay. really? Oh. Nobody. I mean, this, <laughs> this was a monument uh, that was probably bigger than his car. Uh, where'd it wow, go? Wow, where'd it go? Oh, okay. Uh, it, so this is the actual the town of Crow Agency. Oh, Crow Agency. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I like this one. Oh, this yeah, is the, the name. This would be called the Teepee Village. Oh, okay. Get your teepee fix there, but not really. There's our lawn Yeah, mat. yeah. Um, Look I'll at the name, man. Yeah, knee. <laughs> Care how the name is something else. Yeah. So this mercantile is now that store over there. Over there. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, this is where their government. Government is. Uh -huh. Look at this health facility. Yeah, right well, in the center. Oh, yeah, it looks nice too. Yeah. Being that you're a federal taxpayer. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. This is their uh, the library and their junior college. Right oh, okay. Here. Okay, see these are porches. There'll be a teepee behind each one of these during Crow Fair. And this is where okay. they have the big dance competition. It has a big dance competition. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm going to take a look. This can flood. Mm -hmm. Like there's some water. Well, we'll see what happens. So, just imagine this full of teepees. Uh -huh. This is their vacation. Oh, okay. Okay, this is each family has a spot and it's theirs until they give it up. Oh, okay. Okay, you just can't come up and put your. Just take, yeah. Yeah, you've got it here. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, so everyone has their own spot. Uh, we come down here during this cold crow fair. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, we're okay. This is one yeah, of the one spots. Both spots, right? Uh -huh. Looks like it receded. Mm -hmm. Looks like it was up pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> but it is something to see. Uh huh. I can, yeah. This. When it, when it's going, it's fun. I says this is what Reno scene was. When uh -huh. you see these, it, it's quite <laughs> impressive. Quite impressive sight, yeah. yeah. And so this is kind of this area here is the vendors. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You want. okay. This is the dance. That's the dance. Oh yeah, right here. Right uh -huh. here. Uh, they keep uh, fixing it up. It it's really really starting to deteriorate. But yeah, they, it they get it keep it going. They keep it going, yeah. They'll before they'll they'll fix it up a little bit. Yeah, they'll fix it up. Yeah. It's called uh, Indian Relay. Indian Relay, oh okay. Where one guy rides three different horses that are oh, wild. Yeah, okay. Oh I see. <laughs> oh, alrighty. <laughs> and over here is their hospital. Okay. And a casino. Oh, and there is. Now, something happened. 
I must have got and church. I have not. In, sometimes yeah. you just don't inquire. Yeah. <laughs> this is still an active church. Uh -huh. so the casino yeah. Is so <laughs> this I need the to Christian turn. culture has moved on to the reservation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jesuits mainly. Okay. So this is where I kind of kid you can get married. Uh huh. You can honeymoon. Honeymoon. And then you <laughs> used to be able. This is the old casino. Oh, okay. And the new casino is right here. Oh, oh, okay. And then you can gamble yeah. until the other spouse shoots you, <laughs> you. And you, if you survive, you got the hospital. Oh, there we go. And uh, <laughs> what is interesting, uh, the law office used to be uh, right in this building. In this building. Oh, okay. They have since moved. School. Cool. Oh, there's a team. Okay, now. It says 25 to Busby. Mm -hmm. That's where Custer came, was at Busby. Oh, okay. Okay. There's a mountain range. It's called the Wolf Mountain between here and here. Uh huh. Or between. And we're not going to, it's probably going to be too overcast. But okay. If I kept talking, you wouldn't even know. <laughs> yeah. But if you look to the right, Stand in. Oh, okay. But if I can, you wouldn't even I'm notice see it. if I kept your focus over here. Uh -huh. We're going to go in there okay. yeah. eventually. So you'll see it over to the right. Mm -hmm. There it is. Mm -hmm. You'll see it. That little monument. The monument? That's yeah, that's the monument. Yeah. That's the last stand hill. That's mm -hmm. where Custer died. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's where the Wolf Mountains are. Okay. Okay. Now, Custer, about four miles from here, there, and we might get to see it a little bit better. He comes down Reno Creek, mm -hmm. and that's where he splits his men. Is back up here uh, from the Wolf Mountains to these two high hills, two about high hill. 14 miles. Okay. So he sends Reno down Reno Creek. He has Benteen on the other side of Reno Creek covering the hills mm -hmm. and there's some mountains over here called the <clears throat> Bighorns. Okay. He wanted to make sure the Indians weren't escaping there so Benteen is over there. Okay. And Custer has five companies. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, it's snowing. A little five bit. companies <laughs> uh, of men with him. Now he was last seen see where that car's going up? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. That's going up to Weir Point. Weir Point. Okay. That was that area was the last time he was ever seen. Oh really? Oh okay. Okay. Now he's coming from this direction, and we'll get up there. But this is. I just want to show you. This is what the terrain looks like mm -hmm. all through here. But he was last seen there, and the Reno fights down over that hill, mm -hmm. and Custer goes off of that ridge through. Medicine Tail Cooley, uh -huh. and you can see Last Stand Hill. See the trees? Oh, yeah, okay. okay. So he's coming from there to there on the other side of the hill. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, that's, about, that's about four miles. What's that right there? The white, uh, I think, the, I don't know, the white Those something. Be yeah, be yeah, Bihar, okay. <laughs> What's really cool, every once in a while, Horses think you're gonna feed them, and they'll come up to the fence. Uh huh. And oh, really? Like, uh, I imagine to that hillside is 800 yards, something like that. Uh huh. To say, mm -hmm. since you were in the mortar business. Yeah, right. Uh huh. Is, well, yeah, so let's say that's range. 800 yards, and here's a herd of ponies, and here's uh -huh. a soldier. How long does it gonna take for them ponies to get here? Oh, I'd say. <laughs> Not long. Two yeah, minutes, yeah, maybe. yeah, maybe, yeah. So. A soldier yeah, can shoot five rounds a minute, mm -hmm. maybe with those single actions. Mm -hmm. So you got two minutes to live. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. yeah. That is like yeah, before the horses go yeah, on the yeah. top of you. Yeah. So that's okay. Reno Benteen. Oh, okay. So that's where Reno re eventually retreats. Okay. But I just kind of want to show you. I think. 
see what happens here. We'll get down and kind of get in Reno Creek a little bit. Okay. It's going to get too muddy, but this is kind of gravel. So, mm -hmm. so I put Reno kind of crossing from the valley down in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Reno yeah, Creek River. Because this is the little big one right here. Oh, this is the big horn river. Oh, okay. So he had to cross it. He comes from this direction. Sure. Okay. We're, well, we'll see what happens here. This is the little big horn. That's where he had to cross somewhere in here. Oh, okay. Rito Creek is right down. Right down here. there. Okay. Yeah. If you look straight, see the cliffs? Mm -hmm. Okay. So oh yeah, the cliff right now. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then up, uh, there's a little hill right over over here. Right. Uh -huh. Okay, that's Reno Benteen Hill. Uh, we can't quite see. See. see? Okay. If you look back, way back. Mm -hmm. I, this is Reno Benteen Hill. If you look way back over there. Uh -huh, to the left. That's uh, Weir Point, way okay. back over there. Okay. Okay. Custer is coming from this direction. This direction. Oh, okay. And, okay, so we can go up a little further. Most of these soldiers, you know, were a lot of foreign, you know, uh -huh. modern, you know, a lot of Irish. Uh, I don't know how many other languages there were, but mm -hmm. most of these guys were either running from the law or they were hungry so they joined the army for thirteen dollars a month. Uh-huh. Probably a lot of them never even seen a horse. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you know, I tell I like to tell the story this old Irish boy heard about America. Mm -hmm. He gets here and he's starving to death in New York mm -hmm. and everything and he hears about they're hiring at Fort Abraham Lincoln uh -huh. in the Montana Territories or whatever it was. I think, uh, what was it, part of, but in, you know, in North Dakota. So he says, wow, I think I'm going to do that. Do that, uh -huh. Oh, by the way, you're in uh, Calvary. Oh, okay. What's that? Oh, you get to ride a horse. <laughs> okay. Most of the cavalry horses were what we call green broke. Mm -hmm. They were halter broke. Okay. When they, you had to do the rest. Uh -huh. oh, okay. So you became a cowboy in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so not only that, you you're joining the cavalry while well, you're leaving in two weeks. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're going out. Yeah. You're going where? Mm -hmm. Out where? Oh. <laughs> out the wild. The wilderness. Uh, yeah. yeah. That exciting. Uh -huh. We're gonna go chase Indian. some Indians. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you've read a lot of these little books. Mm -hmm. So how you feeling now? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be part of history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're gonna give me a rifle? I never even know what a <laughs> what rifle, rifle is. is. Yeah, you're in the army now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See these hills right over here? Okay. Okay, now Custer had split his men. I'll let you get a good look. Mm -hmm. This is good, good gravel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you got it? So these hills right over here? Mm -hmm. Okay, now Reno is coming down here. Custer is kind of on those hills. Oh, he's on those hills. Okay. okay. Benteen, see where this road is? Uh huh, right there. He, okay. He's way back about a mile past that road in those hills. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's, <clears throat> what had happened, they had split up at the top of this valley. Valley, uh huh. Okay, Reno Creek Valley. Okay. And he sends Benteen at the base of the Wolf Mountains to make sure the Indians weren't trying to escape. Escape, mm hmm. Okay. He sends Reno down the creek. And he stays on the high ground. Okay. Now, he has 600 men. Uh, Benteen has about 120, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> Reno has 120. Mm -hmm. Custer has the rest. He leaves 
the mule train back where those trees are okay. up on the high hill. Okay. That's uh, on one company uh -huh. M. Uh huh. That is about 130 guys. Okay. Okay. And he takes five companies. He roughly has about 200 men with him. Uh -huh. Okay. And he's staying up on the high ground. Uh -huh. Okay. Now <clears throat> we're gonna go back over these hills and we're gonna look across. Here. Okay. Okay. Now. Reno goes down into Reno Creek and he's circling up and they haven't seen. Now right up here, right up where those trees are, and we'll get over on the other side, mm -hmm. comes in right over in right in the okay. little loop. Loop there, okay. Yeah. Okay. Man, yeah, there's the cliffs. So and that's the big one. Mm -hmm. So one thing, it was high water. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. So, crossing the river here, that weir point, uh -huh. that's those two high hills now. We're looking at the other side. Okay. We're going to go along Battle Ridge. Mm, okay. Uh, or the ridge there, but I just want to go up here. And Reno's coming from this direction. Mm hmm. Yeah, Story Point. Basically, fires into the camp and retreats. Back. Yeah, right here. Uh huh. And he retreats. He's going to try to get to those hills. Right. So he, there's a this there's lagoon a creek. Uh -huh. has been this way forever. Oh, right okay. There. So he had to come through this field right here. Okay. This is called the valley fight. This is the first fight. First um, scrimmage. Okay. <coughs> Let me take a look how this looks here. Okay. How muddy it is. Okay, so Reno <clears throat> comes and he he wakes up the Indians and he retreats through this field. field uh -huh. and we'll get a little better position. Okay, and if you look, okay, there's a white marker right. Oh, right there the in the middle. Line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there's actually three of them, but I can't yeah. get down that road. So he retreats there. Lieutenant, that's Lieutenant McIntosh. Mm -hmm. was, I think he was Company A. He gets killed. He gets oh, really full of arrows and everything. Okay. And then Bloody Knife gets killed there. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Because the Indians are chasing him from the village. The, the Indians have woken up villages down this uh, way, and Reno's trying to get yeah get to through this way. Uh huh. Hills, hills okay. right. Uh huh. Now, If you take a look at your, what would that be, three o'clock? Three o'clock? the ridge line oh. all the way up and you'll see something sticking up. See oh. it way at about three o'clock? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, you see it out there? Yeah. We're gonna go there, that's Reno oh, okay. Benteen Hill. So okay. he eventually makes it through here, across the river, mm. and makes it up there. All the way up there, okay. Yeah, okay, at some point, they see Custer on a high hill. Uh huh. You tell me which one. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Which high hill? And then I'll. It must be over there. One. Okay, that's where point. Yeah. Everybody picks that. Uh huh. Okay, I pick a different one. Oh, okay. Okay. There's this sharp ridge at, let's see, right this here. Is 12. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I so see it. about 2 o'clock. Uh huh. And okay. if you look behind that ridge, there's a long ridge, kind of perpendicular to that. Mm -hmm. That's where they seen Custer. Oh, and okay. it'll make sense to you when we get over there. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> along the tree. Mm -hmm. uh, this was Sitting Bull's village. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, who was the other chief? I can't think of his name right now. Mm -hmm. But he's there also. Okay. Sitting Bull was actually more their medicine chief, uh -huh. not their war chief at this time. Okay. So what Reno's men do, they shoot volleys into the teepees. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, through this, if you, you're looking here, but see where the pink house is down here? Yeah, uh-huh. Now, as far as you can see, all they seen was teepees. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, Reno says I'm supposed to do what? Yeah, no, <laughs> no it's an yeah. attack. Yeah. So a whole different perspective. perspective. Uh -huh. is, now, being an armchair 
quarterback. Quarterback, yeah. If all the focus is on Reno, uh -huh. and I can come out from behind and capture the women and children, uh -huh. who's at the advantage? So Custer, I think that was that, that was kind reason. of his Washita. Same plan, kind of happened in Washita. Uh -huh. uh, he captured. There was a thousand Indians. Mm -hmm. He captured the women and children, and the Indians gave up. Oh, okay. So he's so, thinking the same thing. So maybe uh -huh. you know, we don't know. Uh, uh -huh. But uh, first rule was broken, and Custer seen that uh -huh. Reno's already retreating. Retreating. All right. Okay. Okay. Without the women and children. <laughs> Area. I use a red barn. Mm -hmm. Might have been Crazy Horses Where? Camp. Okay. Okay. So this is where all the the Indians were. Indians were, uh, uh This whole valley. Mm -hmm. This is what Custer didn't see until he came around the corner. Oh, came okay, around the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, he might have had scouts at Weir Point mm -hmm. and he's seen some of this. Mm -hmm. But things are happening. Now they're starting to get yeah, quick, yeah. quick now. Uh -huh. So, for the sake of Custer, this is called Medicine Tail Fork. Uh -huh. see how right the here, the head come cliff coming up. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Up and down, that is Medicine Tail Coolie. Custer might have made it to the center of that river. Okay. Before he's pushed back to the last end. Okay. Oh, okay. Reno never made it this far. This far, uh huh. Yeah, he never had the help. We're. This is kind of the. See where the pickup is there? Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Where those guards are going? Really yeah, uh huh. Okay. Custer actually crosses just a little bit to, to the where the white pickup's going, mm -hmm. probably another quarter mile up there. Okay. But this is kind of, you can use this in your book, this mm. is the, where Custer was in the river if you want. No. Oh. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is where they do the reenactment. They start here, uh -huh. For safety, they do all the last stand in this field. Oh, in this field here, oh, okay. Yeah. your Indians. Mm -hmm. Custer can't see nothing. Okay. Okay. What they were looking to see where those grain silos are over there. Okay, we got there. Okay. Okay. Now these hills look kind of flat here, but they go up like this. Mm -hmm. And what they were seeing was spots over there. Mm -hmm. They figured there was 20,000 horses. Okay. Okay. This is what the scouts are reporting. 20,000 20, horses. horses put a good number yeah, of good, people a lot of here. people yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah somehow that 800 and i think by this time custer has enough he's going there's a thousand or more indians here uh-huh but he's still for some reason yeah he's, he's pushing still, for it <laughs> this this is the most studied this is studied by federal judges i i, I got army out here all mm -hmm, the time mm -hmm. and it, they're always studying, studying, studying this. this. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and keep on stepping. <laughs>